Of course, before tonight's community meeting began here at the rec center, hundreds of protesters brought the rush hour to a standstill. Tonight, there were no arrests or injuries during tonight's protest. It started with folks lying down on the streets in Public Square. Then the group grew and moved onto the shoreway, where it blocked traffic for about 45 minutes before heading back to Public Square. Those taking part saying they just wanted to send a message about what happened here at the rec center and in Ferguson. Enough is enough. It's too many killings, and nothing is being done. So we want everybody to know we're not going nowhere. And it hurts that it's happening like that. It's bad. I'm proud to be black, and we should be treated just like everybody else. Ain't no license to kill no black people out here. And Cleveland, not the only city slowed down by protesters tonight. These protesters took to the streets of Cincinnati. A dozen people arrested after they took their demonstration on I-75. And take a look at what happened during the protest here in Minneapolis. Several people hit by a car. Protesters then swarmed the vehicle. One woman, we're told, was taken to the hospital, but she is expected to be okay. And we have exclusive information tonight about the surveillance video that will be released tomorrow showing the shooting of 12-year-old Tamir Rice. Chief Investigator Ron Regan spoke with sources of knowledge, with knowledge of the investigation. They say the video is low-resolution, time-lapse video. That means movement of officers and Tamir Rice will appear more as a jerking motion, not real-time action. In addition, sources say faces have been blurred to protect the identity of witnesses. Finally, according to sources, police believe it shows officers did act reasonably. And we also expect to learn the name of the officer involved in that shooting tomorrow. Danita? All right, Chris, thank you.